This is Michael Harris, a man drug agents describe as a major cocaine trafficker. Harry O, Michael Harris, which was basically a lot of cats in LA's mentor. At the young age of 26, he had already made millions of dollars. These are his roots, the streets of South Central Los Angeles, where he started pushing dope on street corners. You know, he was from the east side and you know, he basically was raised in a prominent, you know, blood neighborhood. And hung with a blood street gang called the Bounty Hunters. In the drug world, he is known as Hario. But what Mike always had, he had the entrepreneurship, you know, on anything. And so he always looked at the good in people, not the bad. So you wouldn't really consider him as a gang member. You would really consider him as a mentor. Everybody looked up to Mike because he wasn't the type of person that tried to create drama. He would try to stop it, and he would try to be a, a ambassador you know, against violence and try to do the right thing and entrepreneurship, um, start your own business. If you're going to do on the streets, you know, take the money and invest in a proper way. I got released from federal prison in 2016. Uh, I got sentenced to 96 months. I've ran into a lot of different cats from all across the globe, some high power, some big names. One to speak on was my homeboy, Hario. I was one of their loved ones. I had to do those things that make myself worthy of him, uh, his trust. The guy's a good guy, and he was a legitimate businessman. You know, something real happened because of Mike. And that's when he, you know, he, he did a play called Checkmates. And if you're familiar with Checkmates, he was the one that basically, you know, discovered Denzel Washington. I was not a drug dealer. I was a person who decided to sell drugs. But I also, at another point, decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. So I took those proceeds and invested in various real estate and businesses that turned out to be quite profitable. And from that, he was rubbing elbows with the political, you know, people at hand with the Tom Bradleys and, you know, things like that. But we were making so much money at the time. In Los Angeles, the war on drugs has so escalated that police last night began using a tank. The chief was inside in command and a new steel battering ram was at the ready. The target, so-called rock houses, where cocaine diluted and hardened with baking soda is sold. In the beginning, man, the Mexicans actually, by just speaking the same language and coming from the same type of origin, right? They came out became the middlemen. Harris built an organization that distributed cocaine in California, Arizona, Texas, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, Indiana, Missouri, Louisiana, Florida, and New York. Investigators say he dealt so much cocaine, major Colombian drug kingpins like Mario Villabona were obliged to deal directly with Harris. The Colombians started understanding and, and meeting prominent blacks. From there, you see names start popping up. Big names, you know, that direct from the Colombians. But like a mob godfather, Harris sought to legitimize his illicit fortune and gain Beverly Hills respectability. I would put some things up with some people and have to remind them. That they were there. That they were there. They it was so much in abundance. And then, you know what tell me? I tell you, how many of them you got? Well, just bring me such and such and such. such. <laughs> oh, no problem. Because they got so much going on that <laughs> niggas just kept that. <laughs> but, but no, but I can't do that. And, and a lot because, of people could have me. Where I... This gang member and two buddies were smoking crack cocaine in a garage when a rival gang drove up and shot them. 20 minutes after these pictures were taken, Lorenzo Crosby was dead. Hell. Oh. 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 We was making so much money, on the average, I was pulling in probably 15 and 20,000 a night selling rocks. Law enforcement officials say there's so much money in drugs, they don't think they can ever stop the supply altogether. Cocaine at $25 for a rock of it to smoke is as common today in the ghettos here as it was in nearby Hollywood and Bel Air a year ago. It's all about location. It's just like in business. Location is very important. Now. In my neighborhood, the only thing that you have to do is come from Sunset Boulevard and drive straight down La Cienica and make a left and go maybe a half a block. 
No question it's drastic. Uh, we really believe that uh, we cannot tolerate these rock houses in residential neighborhoods like this. They can expect uh, that tank to come right through their, the side of their building with SWAT people following. Last night, no rock cocaine was found, but undercover agents had bought it here earlier. L.A. was structured like this. You had Compton cats. You had the East Side cats. You had the West Side cats. You had the Inglewood cats. You had different sections of LA where everybody was making money and Harry O was got so into with, with with Mayor Tom Bradley and the whole you know political thing we had action at having the Arco Towers okay and we had to come up with 10 million dollars and Harry O spoke to everybody in these divisions that was running their town over their, their little area little sections of LA and say, hey, we come up with $10 million, guess what? We can get an Arco Tower. There's a big old tower that says Arco on the top. A huge office, there's a high rise, whatever. He said, you come up with 10 million, they was gonna, they was gonna let us, we was making so much money. What Mayor Tom Bradley and, and Mike was trying to do was get us off the streets and get into real business. But we were so young and what happened is we all said no and said, no, they're gonna wiretap us. They're gonna have this camera, they're gonna have that. And everybody pulled out. So you figure after that happened, that's when they served indictments on everybody in LA that was doing something, was in the late 80s. Hundreds of dealers have been arrested. And in the last year, 65 cocaine related murders thus the tank my message to all rock dealers is get out of business and get out of town us being naive of what's going on because we didn't understand where tom bradley and michael harris they had a plan for the black community to do right it just is what it is man you know freedom boy harry oh man 